Good morning, people of the grid. It's the weekend. It's Saturday. It's uh, <clears throat> time to get some stuff done. I've got a bit of running around today, and uh, one of those things is going to be a haircut. Another one is I got to get to the condo. I got a key thing I got to get taken care of. And then um, I have to go to the Apple store and pick up two iPads. We do a the, the group that I'm with, we, we encourage kids in school, junior high schools, to do some great stuff in their community, in their school, in the world, and if they do, their teachers recommend them, and then we have this process where two of them get chosen, and they win. Uh, we used to give out watches, now we give out iPads, because kids care more about iPads than watches nowadays. So that's what they're going to get. So I'm going to pick those up. Then I got to get home. I got some trailer stuff if I can get to it that I want to get done today as well. So um, yeah, a whole lot of stuff to get done. But uh, the most important thing we're going to do is spend some time together as a family. That, by the way, is why I am always so excited about weekends. It's not because I get to get away from work. I love what I do. I love work. In fact, I love Monday mornings because I get to go do what I love to do. But what I love even more is spending time with my family. So that's why weekends and time with them is uh, pretty important and pretty special to me. So that's what my Saturday is starting to look like. It's uh, it's, it's going to be a busy week. It's going to be it's going to be fun. It's going to be crazy. Lots of driving for the Light Runner. They're all going to be uh, electric uh, kilometers driven on the Tesla Supercharger network, which is the best way to fly. Alright, first mission accomplished. Check. So next up, it's a haircut. And this is the one that I always I always stress over this. Not because well because they always they never get it exactly the way I want it. Maybe one out of every I don't know. Maybe one out of every five to ten haircuts goes perfect. The rest, they seem okay when you leave. And then I get home and it's not until you do it yourself and you're like, ah, maybe it'll grow in okay. Man, they got to get it right sooner or later. It's killing me. So uh, we'll see how today goes. Either way, it's small stuff. I don't worry about it too much. All right, haircut is done. Kind of look like Anderson Cooper, but I can fix that. I'm actually feeling pretty good about the short on the sides and the back. Next, I'm going to head over to the uh, Apple store. Totally different mall, but uh, it's pretty close. So I get a text from my buddy John who joined us in Hawaii for a few days and then uh, after that he had a conference to go to in LA. Uh, he's been in LA ever since and I think he just got home. He sends me a text. Clearly it was meant for somebody else. It said, I'm at waiting area E. So uh, I did what any good friend would do. I said, welcome to E. <laughs> uh, I love it. I always get a I always get a kick out of going to the hairdressers because they're they're so they always use the same tools. They I don't think they can let anybody leave the salon or the haircutting studio without running the blow dryer all over you. It's got to be totally dry and then the comb the I don't even use a comb when I style my hair. I don't have time for that. I I don't even own a comb. Why would I? When I get ready, I just bzz, throw some gel in there, some product, and uh, give it one of these, and I walk out the door. That's all it takes. Jack it up. We got twin, twin turbochargers electric chargers it takes the full 80 amps out of the wall rams it into the battery giving us uh, more range in a shorter amount of time so by the time I get my uh, stuff picked up at the Apple store and get back to the car maybe have a latte I'll have more range in the car I'll end up getting home with more range in the car than when I left this morning that is how you do it on my way home I picked up iPad number one and 
iPad number two. Those are gonna be given away to two lucky contestants from local schools here. Pretty excited about that. Uh, I think if we have time, I'm gonna jump out and check on the trailer. It's gonna be camping season in about a month. We're looking at May long weekend. That's usually our first camping weekend. And if we can, we're even gonna try and get out before that. Snow on the ground or no snow, we're going camping either way. So my job is to make sure the trailer, Golden Boy, for year 11 is camping ready. And then it's gonna be hashtag camping life. All right, made it out to check on the trailer. Looks like uh, there's still a lot of snow out here and a lot of snow on top, but I'm hoping the uh, solar panels the black has melted a fair bit of the snow on them and uh, we're getting a good charge right now. There is a lot of sun out here. Wow, look how much, look around the tires, it's turned into ice. Okay, moment of truth. Oh yeah, it's looking good. Right now our battery voltage is at 13.2. Not getting any current right now. The sun's not directly above us anyways. Battery status, which is pretty awesome because that is that means our batteries are healthy 11 years with the same set of batteries 11 years with the same awesome trailer and it's still working really good for us no reason to uh no reason to upgrade just yet everything works we keep fixing anything that breaks can't wait to go camping all right got my errand done i had to get <coughs> Had to get a bunch of supplies for our um, our conference next week so supplies are gotten tammy helped thanks babe i couldn't have done it without you well i could have but it's more fun you now have just left it i could have done it with, couldn't have done it without you i couldn't have done it without you there you go Thank now you. we got to get amelia over to some baseball thing a uh, uniform baseball uniform thing. On thing and then tammy's got some shopping she's got to get done and, and i should buy food we haven't gotten food we've been home for a whole week we and there's milk. no food in the fridge so you know what <laughs> so here i got some tic tacs i'll leave with you guys <laughs> i got you covered i got oh, your tic tacs i had food it was just all frozen all right we gotta run because it's uh we gotta go just get amelia amelia uh -huh. it's that thing on top of your head is that a is that a man bun it is i have a strict no man bun policy for anyone in the car. Where's my scissors? But like, I'm not a man, so. Like, I know, but it looks like a man. It looks, no. Get out. Get out, no man bun policy. <laughs> We're waiting for Tammy. Where'd she go? To get a check because you're getting a jersey, uh, what are you getting, a uniform. shirt, uniform? So we need to put in a deposit because apparently there's a lot of uniform theft going on in Calgary. Are you kidding? No, yes, I'm kidding. Well, it's just about six o'clock. We are going out on a date. We're going for supper and then we're going to see Ready Player One. Yay. Yes, I wanted to go see it last night. I wanted to go see it like when we were in Hawaii. Like, yeah, Hawaii. when you're in Hawaii, yeah. there's better things to do than go see a movie. Yeah. We can do that back here. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. To do back this here. is our first date night out in a long time. Yeah, then we go to the theater. Yeah, that's true. But that's like. That's a good schedule date night, which is good. good date. More dates nights are better. More dates nights. More, More dates, dates nights, nights coming right up. <laughs> How do you like my haircut? I like your haircut. It looks nice. How do you like mine? I, I like your hair tonight. It looks great. Thanks. We just got back from we went for dinner, which was really nice, to Eastside Mario's, and then we went to see Ready Player One. Thoughts on no, don't spoil it. Not everyone's seen it yet. Thoughts? I loved it. You don't need to read the book to go see it. But I did love it. But it's not the book. It's two different things. Yes. It's inspired by the book. Like if it was done in an alternate universe and you were to make a perfect version of the book in an alternate universe where lots of things are different, that's what they did. So uh, the movie doesn't ruin the book. The book is way better than the movie. Yeah. Read the book. But go see the movie too. The book. The book ruins the yeah, book. read the book. Go yeah. see the movie. The movie's great to see. They did a good job with it. Um, but
but it's not the book. It never is. Hollywood never nails the book. The first five minutes, I'm like, that's not like the book. That's not like the book. And yeah. I had to just let that go but because it it's not it's the book. It's because it doesn't take you two hours to read And the here's book. the miss, right? So here's the one miss. In the book, it's, it's filled with 80s culture, 80s references, 80s music, 80s video games. In the movie, they had the opportunity to do so much with those two things, music and video games, and they only did this much. That's a miss. But other than that, the visuals, really decent, pretty decent. Um, I mean, we see that all the time in video yeah. games. So yeah. the visuals could have been better. The graphics. And the storyline was good. Storyline was good, the yeah. The moral was the same. Yeah. From the book and the movie. Yeah. So go but. see it. You'll know and what we mean. And then read the book. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we, we both read the book and then saw the movie. And I think that's the right way to do it. Um, but go see the movie. I'd go see the movie. It's then. not like Dark Tower where the book was awesome, no. the movie it, it only shared awesome. it only shared the name. Like it yeah. was it was the same name as the book, but that's yeah. that's it. Whereas um, Ready Player One, the book and the movie kind of the movie gave you some good visuals, but anyway, yeah, different. There you Ready go. Ready Player One. That's oh. it. That's our it's Saturday. Great, We're great going into night. Sunday. It was a great date night. Yeah. High five to me for thinking of another great date night. <laughs> <laughs> Catch you guys tomorrow. Miker, out.